the cultures around the country are going to be quite a surprise for the feminists. Putting aside anti-Semitism, let's say, let's say again, let's say they're not anti-Semites. They're okay with the Jews. Fine. How do you think it'll go for the chicks, the lesbos, the gay guys, the bisexuals, the woke haired people, or just anyone who is liberal in nature if you bring these people in? Here's Ann Coulter on Tim, uh, Tim Pool's podcast. Here's the ter more terrifying reality is that all, all, the, all the reporters that we've talked to who've covered this said it's mostly young women being raped by the human traffickers. Mm -hmm. It's not, no, it's not condoms. It's, they, they don't care about any of that. Well, that's uh, back to your point on the um, Christian um, underlying <clears throat> of, of our freedom. And we are the freest country in the world. I mean, anyone who comes from any other country, any, any immigrant to Finland makes it less white. It's a very, very white country. Any immigrant to America makes it less free. We are shockingly the freest country in the world in so many ways that other cultures do not understand. And one of the things that our media, is, as Dinesh says, there is there is an operation going. It's, it's I've never seen so much collective lying. Um, but um, the rape cultures around the country are going to be Quite a surprise for the feminists. I mean, well, this, this, let me just tell forget. you, ladies, you never had it so good let's as with American forget. men. You know, she's laughing as she says it, but the rape culture, again, put aside the Jews. If you are a woman, if your mother is a woman, uh, if your sister is a woman, or extrapolate that any which way you know how, do you know that rapes in Britain, in Germany, in Sweden, rapes are off the charts. Women are afraid to walk alone in big cities because they have imported these people. They have different views as, it's, as it relates to women and minorities and everything else. If you picked any of these countries, any of the Arab countries, how's it going for minorities? There basically are none. How's it going for religious minorities? How's it going for Christians? Forget the Jews. How's it going for Christians in all these countries? There are about 20 Coptic Christians left in Egypt. Okay, and Egypt is a little more westernized, let's say, than some of these other countries. So we all know this is true. We all know it's true, and, and it's only gonna work, or, or we're only gonna stop it if we acknowledge it, right? We know what's true, actually. We're not afraid to tell our friends what's true and help them wake up, and then we vote for good people.